Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are going today to work on our fourth stage of the Grand Tour achievement in the Baltic region. We've got three of the stages done. Today we're going to try to do Finland versus in Russia. And we are all poised and ready to go for that. Let's take a look at the job market. In between the last episode and this episode, I did take a trip up to Helsinki. And now we're going to try to go from Helsinki into Russia. And ideally, we want to find a place into Vyborg here, which is right on the edge of the Russian-Finland border. So that will be the shortest trip possible. Here we go. There was a used packaging one and 7,000. Sounds good for hours and 50 minutes. Let's just take that. That'll work perfect. It's going to be a little bit of a drive, it looks like, to get to the pickup spot, but we'll get going in that. Hopefully, my wheel is all sorted out here, too. It seems to be working pretty well since we were last together. Let's just let this load up and we're off and ready. I'm excited to see if we can get this achievement. We'll get half of it done today. And then at the end of this episode, we will uh, buy our fifth truck and hire a new driver for Istanbul. So that will fill up that base, make our next mission. Because between this mission and the last one, we have got a to 190,000 pounds. So we have more than enough money to buy another truck and hire a driver. So we will get that in place. So I'm gonna get us uh, started here. Looks like the weather's pretty good. It's 9.30 on a Friday morning. Going through this fast. And we will get started. We've got an hour and 14 minute drive to our pickup. So it's gonna take a little while. We'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, here we go. We've got our Ikea or IKA Bohag trailer all attached purple, purple and blue today a little bit of a tricky navigation to get out of here but I think we're all set so let's get this started here and again for this grand store grand tour achievement you have to make perfect deliveries between five countries in the Baltic region between Latvia and Lithuania which we've done between Latvia and Estonia which we've done between Russia and Finland which we're doing now between Russia and Estonia, which we've done. And then the last one we'll have to still do after this one, which is between Russia and Lithuania. So uh, we are hoping to make this journey without any fines, damage, and we must be on time. Now this is an external contract, which is the best way to do these because I think we have eight hours at least or something like that of real time to be able to complete this. So the time contingent should not be a problem here. What we want to be careful of is any sort of damage to the truck or other fines that we might pick up along the way. But uh, we are underway. It is a four hour and 46 minute journey. I think we will need gas on the way. We shouldn't need to sleep. I'm excited to see if we can rack this one up. This will get us four out of five. Only one more to do after this one. So pretty excited It'd be nice to, to wrap up this is a good achievement I think it's down in if I'm not mistaken it's one of the top 10 hardest achievements or le least frequently accomplished achievements so uh, it'd be a nice one to get I think about two percent of drivers have accomplished this one I'm surprised that some of these um, some of these achievements that don't seem that hard uh, are in so infrequently completed maybe a lot of people don't really pay attention to achievements I guess or maybe because they're in the DLCs and a lot of people maybe don't have this DLC you know that probably makes the most sense it's like people probably buy the base game and maybe like France and they play for a while and maybe they don't come back and play again and so it doesn't it shows that they don't have it I guess it would show if you don't buy the DLC you probably don't haven't accomplished this as a player of the game so that's probably why the DLC achievements are the most infrequently accomplished ones, of course. But anyway, I'm rambling on about minor details. Let's, uh, we'll get going here and we'll check back in in about a couple hours or so. We're about halfway through this journey. Looks like we got some pretty good weather and uh, I'm excited to see if we can wrap this up. At least this leg of the journey. We've got about uh, two hours left, so about halfway through. So far, it's been a pretty easy drive. It was four lane highways, two lanes each, ways, each way, and the road was really straight. So it was pretty much a rocking chair, except for the fact that there was a lot of traffic. So that was the only thing to kind of keep an eye out for the, the AI cars that can do kind of goofy things. And I'm noticing up ahead, we've got a gas station, which is good because we were running low on gas. And I know that stresses FM Digi out oh quite God, a else. bit. So I wanted to make sure that we keep our viewers unstressed as possible here. Looks like we've got the border coming up as well. We're gonna pull in first and get some gas off here on the left side, and then we'll head into the border. 
And a few things to um, across the Russian border here. A few things I think to mention too. Uh, Parkira, who put a comment in the last video, mentioned that the next expansion coming out for American Truck Simulator was announced as well. I completely missed that when I was looking at the Heart of Russia stuff and the date for Iberia, which of course is April, and that uh, the next one is Texas for American Truck Simulator, which is pretty cool, I would think. That's a pretty big state there too. So I'm curious to think what people think about that that's actually a pretty appealing choice i could think i mean it, the whole american truck simulator it's really western american truck simulator right because it's most of the western states and a lot of kind of desert driving and things like that um but texas is a good choice i'm curious to see if they're ever going to get i noticed they said they would kind of package states together when they get further along so it, you know obviously you're not going to do a whole DLC just for Rhode Island or something like that. That wouldn't make any sense because it's so small. So obviously they're going to package states, but it'd be nice to see if they could uh, get some different terrain. And I realize they can't also leave gaps. Like you couldn't just do, you know, the northeastern states now because, well, you know, there's nothing connecting to what they've already put in there. So they've kind of committed themselves to a, a west to east expansion for that game, but kind of experience. And I have not driven that game at all. Never, not a single minute in American Truck Simulator. I've been kind of uh, saving it for when this kind of trucking empire and Euro Truck Simulator is done. Then I think it'd be fun to start fresh. By the time I get there, there's probably going to be a lot more states. I don't know, because we still have quite a bit to do with this one. And then Iberia is coming out too. So lots to do. And by the way, Parkera, who did put a comment in this about the Texas one, he has done, he's the guy who actually got me started on Euro Truck Simulator. He posted a video and said, you should check this game out. And I watched him play and I said, gosh, that looks like the most boring game ever. I would hate it. But he kept bugging me and bugging me. And finally I said, well, okay, fine, I'll try it. And I tried it once and I said, oh, that was kind of fun. And I said, I think I want to keep playing. And then I played a little bit more. And then now here we are. This is episode number 58 on this series. So <laughs> thanks, Parkira. Speaking of Parkira, also not to stay on the same subject for too long, but <clears throat> he since he kind of uh, had some stuff going on where he was moving and things like that and a lot of life circumstances. So he kind of stopped doing the YouTube things, but he has since come back and he started up a Twitch channel. So I'll put a link down below to that. And he's doing American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. And uh, he's just super easygoing, very chill. And I went in, I checked out, I think it was his first stream. He's in New Zealand, so it's a little bit tricky for me because I think when he's starting to do his streams, it's like two in the morning. So it's a little bit hard. And Twitch is really hard for me because it it's, means like doing something at a set time. And my life rarely works that way. But uh, if you do, are free and do it, I've, you check out his Twitter account, you check out his channel and give it a follow. Highly, re highly recommended because he's a great guy, really fun to watch. And um, I got a chance to check out his first stream and it was really fun. And uh, like me, uh, I will say that on occasion he does hit things. Not that we hit things a lot here, of course not. <laughs> Perfect drivers that we are. Um, but he does hit things and uh, that's always adds a little bit of uh, entertainment value there. Now, this is one place merging where the AI traffic is particularly horrendous. And I have a terrible time staying undented on these elements of the game here. But uh, yeah, so uh, I highly recommend that. And again, a big thank you to, to him for getting me started on these games. And uh, you should definitely go check out his Twitch channel. Give it a follow at least, uh, you know, give some support to him and stuff like that. He's a great guy and um, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So we will continue going through the, the border here and then we'll pick it up as we get closer to our destination. So far, so good. Looks like we got about an hour and a half left uh, and hopefully we won't hit anything and pick up any fines between now and our destination. So we'll see you shortly. So we've got about, whoops. Looks like we go right here, huh? Yeah. So I can see our destination on the Navi right now. Looks like it's straight ahead about 20 minutes. We're approaching the city of Viborg or Viborg. I'm not quite sure how you say it. I did want to say, like, this is kind of one of the odd things that sometimes you see the way the game kind of portrays graphics right now, which is that if you look at currently where we are, there's some shadowing, it looks like. But then the sky straight ahead is pretty gray. So it's kind of odd that, like, the sun's out here but then what we can see straight ahead and even up kind of to the left up here is
pretty overcast in terms of the sky. It just seems some places where the game's a little bit mixed up with its weather here. This looks like some kind of tricky driving here. Better pay attention here. So left here. Sounds like we can do that. This would be a nice one to get. And I think what I'll do after this one is, because we're in the northwest corner of the Russian portion of the map here. Viborg discovered. 19 out of 35 for the Baltic tourist. Good. So 16 more to go. And we'll have this one. We are over halfway for picking up states, uh, for picking up cities here, which is pretty cool. And I'm thinking what I'm doing, since we're in the northwest corner of Russia, I'm going to drive down to the southeast corner, which is the closest uh, spot to Lithuania, to try to shorten that last drive. And then we'll go somewhere from that city, somewhere down to Lithuania, and try to pick up our last achievement here. Looks like we just missed a train. Four minutes to go to our destination. Hopefully, <laughs> can do better on the parking than in the last episode. I've had some, I, I've been inconsistently playing and I noticed that one thing that happens when I don't play is that at all for like, even like a week or so is that I lose any sense I had of the distance and size of the truck, the space and size of the truck for parking and that that's the skill that seems to go the most. The driving part seems like it's kind of sticks, but parking, especially if it's a tricky backup, one of those 90 ones that's actually a 90 experience, hard parking, uh, job those are the things that i seem to just lose a sense for how big the truck is and when to turn and how much to cut it and they can be really challenging for me if i haven't played for a while so now this is only a small gap between the last time i played i think two days or something like that so i wonder if it's going to be a little bit easier because it seems to come back fairly quickly ah we know exactly what this one's going to be isn't it it's going to be straight ahead on the right a backup facing this way the blind back at an angle i'm sure that's going to be what it is Yep, there it is. Okay, challenge accepted. These are some of the hardest ones. I don't think I've done one of these in a good amount of time yet because you have to come at them and cut it back at just the right angle. And I have not had success yet with these. Yet is the key word here though, right? And they parked that car there, wherever that guy is. So we have to come up here, I think is even better. And then now the truck is straight back and now we can try it. So let's see how we do here. Hopefully a little better than rearranging all the trailers in the parking lot like we did last time. That was somewhat entertaining. But it took a long time. This is feeling a little bit more optimistic now. I like the angle we got here and that we're nice and straight. And I think what I'm going to do is do a walk around right about now to determine when we want to cut it. So let's pretend we get out of the truck. So I'm guessing, oh look, the train's right behind this place. I'm guessing we want to turn it now, and I have to get a screenshot too, so I'm going to do that. We'll be back in a sec here. Oh, crap. I think we're doing pretty well, and then I somewhat screwed it up here. Okay, yeah, I just needed to straighten it out faster. Okay. Let's go forward a little bit, straighten it out, and see if we can fix it that way. Got it. That, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not pretty with the cab, but we got the trailer in anyway. So we're here. Perfect. I think it was a successful run. I don't remember any damage. Let's see if we get the fourth one pops up here. Yep, Grand Tour, four out of five. Only one more to go. Cool. We picked up 7,000 euros, and I noticed that one of our drivers, Bronislav, I think picked up almost 40,000 euros as we were driving a little bit there. So we have enough money to pick up our next trailer purchase. Uh, not trailer purchase, truck purchase. Let's go to... How come I can never find these things? I think it'd be easy. Truck manager. Let's do that. Uh, truck dealers. Here we go. Let's get another Volvo to get a fleet of Volvos going here. Where is a Volvo? Let's buy one from Nuremberg. Buy online. Let's get our VH Globetrotter. That's a, that's a good one. We'll pick that up. And we are going to send it to Turkey. Right there. Okay. Get to hire another driver too, which is always fun. Thank you for purchase. We'll deliver it to your truck. Perfect. Excellent. And driver manager. We want to recruitment agency. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, 
driver. Hire a driver. There we go. It's funny. Everything's down the buttons and they have that little ask over there. Uh, let's see what we want. We want a high value driver. Wilma F. Driver rating 1.7. Rafat Rafal with the highly raised eyebrow. Fragile 2. She has distance, which is good. Madison G. Hmm. Petra. Brandon. Victor looks like a happy fellow, and he can handle flammable cargos too. Let's uh, let's let's have uh, let's hire Victor here. Perfect. And we're going to put him a target slot, which is same place, Istanbul, right there. We're going to give him that new Volvo. Okay. Got another driver, and we still have sixty-one thousand left. Nice. Very cool. So we now, if we look at our driver manager here, we are we are. Still a ways before we can scroll through this, but we've got what ourselves and then 10 other drivers now most excellent I think our next purchase will be another garage And I think we'll have time to get one before we get to Iberia before April because it's only the middle of March right now So anyway, there you go. We have uh, Completed the fourth stage out of the Grand Tour going ahead I'm going to drive if we look at external contact contracts here I'm going to drive from up here, Viborg, Viborgorina, down to Piskov. And then I think we're going to look for some kind of a job from Piskov into Lithuania for the last stage. So if we're lucky, the next episode will be a completed Grand Tour achievement after. We've got four complete now out of six attempts. So that would give us five out of seven. Not too bad, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. If you have, please give it a like. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll see you on Sunday for our final attempt or another attempt at for an attempted completing this achievement is the right way to put it. Take care, everybody. See you again. Thanks for watching.